Hello and welcome to the next job that needs doing for the hot box as I'm calling it. The 3D printers both need a filament guide instead of these hand clamps here that are temporary so that it can guide the filament from the spool and let it spin freely and guide it into the 3D printer. Okay, so I've downloaded a free CAD software, which is pretty difficult to get to know. It's a bit clunky, but it's free. So here's how I do it. It's a little bit like uh, Fortnite, and your three-year-old plays that. And subscribe. Welcome to FreeCAD. I'm going to do all this in fast forward because I'm not going to go into detail with it all. We'll do that for another video if I get enough likes. Sometimes you won't have time, sometimes you can't be ours. It's just procrastination and you think it'll be alright. This is basically digital Lego where I'm picking up three dimensional forms in the part workshop of FreeCAD and manipulating them to the size that I require. You know your choice of you is you dig this kind of vibe. The only thing I ask of you is like, come and subscribe. Or I can go into the sketch workshop in FreeCAD here and sketch out on the plane more accurately the form that is required. I don't care if you've got skills, I don't care if you are bright. If you ain't got just a little luck, then you're gonna lose your appetite. So in a similar way to Fortnite, you're creating three-dimensional shapes, adding them or taking them away from the, the creation that you've made. You know your choice of you is if you dig this kind of vibe. The only thing I ask of you is like, come and subscribe. And then when you're happy with everything that you've modelled here, control and E for export and open it up in the slicing programme. This kind of work ain't easy unless you are a nerd. It may seem kind of geeky, but you know that's just absurd. And the slicing programme basically takes the STL file that you've just created and turns it into a G-code so the printer can understand it. And now the 3D printers have got the information they need via Wi-Fi and it's printing it. It's going to take five hours, nine minutes, so we won't sit here and watch that. Uh, but it does look like the temporary clamps are working quite well for now. And you will have yourself a filament guide very soon. Well, in five hours, nine minutes, hopefully. I find these things quite mesmerising. I could sit and watch these for hours. But we're not going to. Let's speed it up. Right, that's it all done now then. And it looks pretty good. Just move these clamps out of the way. It's around about where it's going to go. And screw it into the wooden beam there. Load the filament in through the guide, obviously, first. going through the guide and all we've got to do now is see if the spool spins freely enough and it's in the right place There she is, just about to start spinning. Doesn't move very quickly, obviously. Yeah, nice and smooth. And I'm going to call that job done. And a nice job it is as well. And if you've watched to this point of the video, surely that's worth a subscribe, like, share it about. I won't be seeing you next time. You'll be seeing me. Thanks a lot. Cheers.